one tip for your first serve start the serve from here turning with the left arm or non-dominant arm all the way the contact should be at your eye level when you turn keep your racket face above your dominant hand wrist here and notice my left arm is holding the racket Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krnjetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. Doing my serves now and I'm working on my first serve. Trying to get a couple more kilometers per hour added on my fastest serve. Trying to use some feet position, a little bit more hips rotation, also the shoulders and of course eventually the pronation part and snap using my elbow. So let's try. Pretty good. What do you think? One tip for your first serve. Try always to disguise it so the opponent cannot tell if you're going T, body or wide. So when you practice serves, you try to always have the same toss. If this doesn't work for you, I suggest, let's say, you focus on the T serve and then as you toss in the ball, like you're planning to go T but then you decide to go wide. So in that way, you will have exactly the same toss for any corner. What you think about it? A few advice and tips on how to change your waiter serve if you're struggling with that type of a serve, and that is if you're dropping here, how to get this edge first going down. So I'm gonna actually start the serve from here, and I'm gonna try almost to touch my head here, and I'm gonna try to just go up with the elbow here. Let me know. Quick tip on how to work on your kick serve and you're gonna need three balls and you're gonna repeat these steps over and over and over again. First one is handle up, the second serve middle, the third serve here. I actually did this with one of my players the other day and it worked out very very good. So let's see. Let me know if it helped. I give you one simple exercise how to simulate the actual point in a the match, then try to do the serve. So something combined. Of course, I don't have anybody there playing with me, so I'm gonna use my imagination. so important visualization and imagination it helps so much one very simple exercise that you can do anytime when you're alone at the court you can practice any any kind of shot forehand backhand slice I will show you the forehand here and you can self feed the balls but you can also do it without balls it's all about the imagination and also being creative on the court but also trying to do something that can replicate the real point situation in this case I'm gonna work on the timing of the split step and also timing of the swing so you should try to focus on that immediate turn after the split step and then of course go into the shot
that helps some of the key points for the great forehand in my opinion so I'm gonna just give you some small parts of it so not the whole thing but something that actually really really can help you with your forehand so number one will be immediate lift of the racket when we turn number two turning with the left arm or non-dominant arm all the way number three keeping that elbow high and number four getting that whip action with leading with the bottom cap and then getting that nice whip or racket leg looks like this let me know give you some ideas about how you can train when you're by yourself and especially if you want to work maybe on your serves on your volleys on or even some of the fitness part so you can do all this together by doing the serve and volley drill you can serve or you can do it without a ball in this case i will actually serve as you want in the set and it's very good keeps your heart rate up and it's kind of realistic like in the match good luck quick tips for your forehand volley number one keep your elbows in front far in front number two when you make the swing of course after the split step keep your racket face above your wrist number three the contact should be at your eye level so if the ball is lower I'm gonna get lower of course with the other foot going forward so again number one in front number two racket face above the wrist number three eye level contact good luck quick tips for your back and volley number one keep your elbows in front of your body way up in front number two when we turn keep your racket face above your dominant hand wrist right and number three, the contact should be at your eye level. So if the ball is higher, I can stay high. If it's lower, I need to get lower and then finish. So once again, elbows in front. Number two, racket face above the wrist. Number three, contact at eye level. Good luck. Quick tips for your smash and how to improve it. Number one, as soon as you see the ball going up, you're gonna start the turn here and notice my left arm is holding the racket so while I'm waiting for the ball I'm gonna get in this position number two I'm gonna start searching the ideal spot my position by making the small steps number three just before the contact I'm gonna actually get in that trophy position point straight up with our with my left arm that's gonna prepare me to launch up and number four trying to get the highest contact point so we can get a nice snap on the smash and I would add number five try to get always some of the slice a little bit racket angle at the end so you can get more consistent with your smash good luck